Hi everyone, welcome to the 24th episode of the Logo 5 Lounge. I am Saket, the founder of FET and the Logo 5 Lounge is a weekly video series dedicated to content writing and digital marketing. In this episode, we are going to cover grammar concept, which is capitalization rules. Now, you might say why capitalization rules? It's a simple concept. Yes, it's a simple concept, but I have seen over a period of time that even the best of the writers tend to make these mistakes and they tend to confuse about when to capitalize and not to capitalize a particular word. word and in this process their content becomes weak so today we are going to discuss 11 capitalization rules and if you will study if you can master these rules then your content your writing will become flawless so let us discuss 11 rules of capitalization after watching the video please uh, check a link in the description and give a test to check your knowledge about the capitalization rules today we are going to learn the 11 rules of capitalization so rule one is capitalize the first word of every sentence when i'm saying capitalize first word it means capitalize the initial alphabet of the first word all right and i will use this throughout this video so capitalize first word of every sentence and apply this rule everywhere, be it email, text, online communication, or anything else. So look at these two examples. I want to learn writing. I will always be in capital. He asked me to read more. H is in capital because it's starting from a sentence. Remember that I will always be in capital, right? This is the rule that you would have studied and you know it quite well. Let us move to the rule two. Now, capitalize the first word of a quotation. This is applicable even if the quotation is placed in the middle. For example, Bill Gates once said, if I was down to my last dollar, I would spend it on PR. Look at this quotation. Though it is in the middle of the sentence, it begins from the middle of the sentence. Still, this I is in capital, right? So the first word is capitalized. So therefore, always, whenever you write a quotation, you begin that quotation with a capital um, alphabet. There is some exception, however. So do not capitalize the first word if the quotation is the completion of a previously started sentence. So for example, if I break down one quotation into two parts and first I use the quotation and then the second part comes after uh, another phrase then we will not use this rule for instance technology is just a tool in terms of getting the kids together and motivating them comma bill gates once said the teacher is most important now this is the part of just one quote but the writer because of his style he has chosen to write this in two parts so one is this one up till them and the second part of the quotation begins from the teacher is most important and therefore T is not in capital right so when you place the entire quote together then the first word of the quotation will always begins with a capital word a capital letter however if uh, the quotation is divided into two parts and there is something in the middle then the second part the initial alphabet of the second part will not be in capital remember this let us move to the rule number three so major words in title so capitalize the first words of titles and all nouns and verbs do not capitalize the which is article a n or the or prepositions if they occur mid title i took this example from ndtv i have seen most of their titles are incorrectly uh, written in terms of capitalization so kios at the langana andhra border as hundreds try to get home now at a will be in small as again a will be in small and in two 
T will be in small because remember in only the major words will be capitalized that means the initial alphabet of all the major words will be in capital and remaining words like prepositions functional words that we say prepositions articles etc will not be capitalized right so the correct will be this one then let us see rule number four so this is quite obvious in countries languages and nationalities we always use we use capitalization so india indian history english hindi you see all the words are capitalized then rule number five racial and ethnic groups so all racial and ethnic groups are capitalized except the general categories of for example black and white now when we mention a you know a group when as a black or as a white then b and w will not be in capital though these exceptions are debatable and not all guides grammar guides will agree to this though you can in general you can use these groups all right which are more general categories uh, you can uh, you sh should not capitalize that however whenever you uh, talk about well established and well known racial and ethnic groups for example asian native americans europeans americans etc you will use you will capitalize the word then rule number 6 names and titles so capitalize titles in the following cases when it is used in place of a person's name and second is when this is attached to a person's name that means that you have to we know that names are always capitalized right however you if the title is given then you will capitalize the titles in two cases when they are used in place of a person's name or when they are attached to a person's name right so let us see examples have you talked to mom yet let us see examples have you talked to mom yet let's invite aunt jane for dinner now you will see this is used in place of a person's name right this is a very specific person and you are using mom as a uh, in place of uh, her name so you will capitalize this word similarly you are using this title aunt along with the name of the person then you will capitalize this word right similarly in today's class professor sharma was late okay this is the name and you are putting professor as a title along with the name of the person and therefore p will again be in capital right now there are certain exceptions so do not capitalize titles when it is not acting as a name or when not associated with a specific person's name note this that do you don't have to use do not have to capitalize titles when it is not used uh, you know in place of a person's name or when it is not associated with somebody a person's name so for example so test if a title is acting as a name replace it with your name so replace the title with your name and see if it is making sense or not if it is making sense then you capitalize that title if it is not making sense then do not capitalize that title for example i talk to mom now this is the title i will replace this title with my name and see if it is making sense or not so once you replace mom to my name which is sarket so let's see i talked to sarket which is making sense and therefore you will capitalize mom however in the second case i talked to my mom now here even if the mom is title but when i replace this with my name i talked to my sarket now this is looking awkward it does not make sense right and therefore this mom is not in cap capital right similarly there are some more examples then rule number 7 academic subjects capitalize academic subjects only when there are 
names are based on countries or languages or when they indicate a specific class not just a general subject so we do not capitalize mathematics history etc the name of the subject academic subjects but when you are specifically talking about a particular class or a particular um a subject related to a sort of um, based on countries or languages then you are going to capitalize them so for example have you taken psychology 201 so this is not just psychology this is psychology 201 and therefore p is in capital if it would have been have you taken psychology then p would have been in small rule number 8 which is again quite common all of you would be knowing it capitalize the names of brands companies and institutions or any proper noun any name you capitalize that infosys accenture microsoft etc rule number 9 religion again religion is the name of something so we capitalize that capitalize specific religions or name of deity general references like the gods are not capitalized and some people some stylists also some grammar guides capitalize pronouns that refer to the deity rule number 10 capitalize days of week month and holidays capitalize what is found on a calendar right like monday march diwali christmas any festival name any holiday capitalize that do not capitalize seasons winter spring summer and fall do not capitalize them rule number 11 capitalize the name of cities location or street names and do not capitalize direction i live in the west now this is a location where you live so for example i live in south delhi south mumbai that s will be in capital but the moment i say i turn west or i turn south this is a direction and therefore we do not capitalize that now it is time to check your knowledge please uh, check a link in the description and give a test to check your knowledge about the capitalization rules if you have any questions or you want me to cover a particular topic in this series of videos then please write them in the comment below and i will discuss in next few episodes thank you very much for watching this video and subscribe to our youtube channel to get the latest update about content writing and digital marketing